Live from ClickOrlando.com, this is News 6 at 5.30. This is a News 6 Plus takeover. Here now is Matt Austin and Ginger Gadston with Florida's 4th Estate. Welcome back to Florida's 4th Estate. So glad to have you with us. I don't know how this show is going to go today. We're talking a lot about voices. But the way this started, I'm going to tell you, Ginger and I hopped on the stream here. And I was like, Ginger, I can't hear you. She literally had her microphone upside down, just like that. Talk for us, Ginger. Oh, my God, this is terrible. <laughs> on, the, we're gonna have a professional voice actor. on the very day we have a professional voice actor, Ginger's going to use her microphone backwards. Glad to have you with us on the show. I'm Matt Austin. I'm Ginger Gadsden, and my mic is turned around now. It's facing the right way. I mean, he's like, you I sounded can't better the like, other way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> rude. You are so rude. I, I'm so happy that we are here today and we're talking to someone who is really, she's so interesting. And a lot of people here in Central Florida and Florida will recognize her face when they see her because she used to do local television in uh, the Orlando market. And now she is a legit voice actor totally legit. Sandra Osborne thank you so much for joining us because when we think of voice actors the thing that comes to mind is the guy in the movie theater who who scares the bejesus out of us who says in a world in a I world so, but <laughs> that's not what voice actors that's not the only thing they do right and you have this delightful voice but you can change it up tell me a little bit about how you got your start in this yeah, so I, I, first of all, I wish I could do the inner world, right? That's so cool. But um, I don't have that deep voice. Um, I actually started out doing theater and acting growing up. And then when I was in college, I worked in radio. I actually worked at Mix 105.1 in Orlando and um, then transitioned into TV. Um, and I think the theme really for me is all storytelling because I've always just loved getting to know people's stories, bringing them to life, bringing it to the public. And so the next step for me was kind of the passion project of getting to do something I've always wanted to do, which I thought would be a hobby. And then now I'm kind of like, I can't believe this is my job full time. I'm very, very it's always I'm, I'm pinching myself every day. Like, I can't believe it's real. Yeah, it's very <laughs> cool. I think a lot of people think of voice acting and they think of like, I have a good voice. So mm -hmm. I am going to read scripts in the way that my voice is and people are going to pay me for it. But that's not really the way your gig works. Like one day you're an evil mastermind and the next day right. you're a princess. Is that the case? And that's uh, that's away from the mic. Yeah, that's just my normal life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's so just having a good voice, that's wonderful. But that's just one, you know, thing with voice acting. There's so much to it, especially since the pandemic and people are recording a lot at home. Um, you have to be able to actually understand the equipment around you, your microphone, making sure it's not backwards, um, <laughs> the audio editing, you know, so it's, it's a lot to it. There's a, you know, I had to basically take a crash course in audio engineering to make sure that my audio matched the audio that they're hoping for in studios and with other voice actors, if we're all contributing to the same game or commercial. So it was a lot of learning, um, but yes, having a good voice helps. But these days also commercials, they want natural voices. So, so many other voices are getting into the game these days. Yeah, a lot of learning and also a lot of rejection at first. Yeah. It didn't just start out with first thing you read was what you got. Right. So I actually, working in radio and TV, you practice with your voice a lot. In radio especially, I started out when I was, I think, 18 or 19 years old. And I had them kind of coaching me, helping me along. Um, so I started getting that training going. Then uh, just for fun, I started taking voice acting for video game lessons just on the side when I was working in TV. And then even, even then with all of that, I started putting out auditions for project after project and literally had 99 rejections in a row. And then my 100th audition, I wasn't even sad about it. I was like, okay, if it takes a thousand tries, let's go for it. I'm having fun. And then finally got hired for something and I was just over the moon excited for it. So yeah, it's, it's a tough job, but once you get the ball rolling, you know, you can actually establish a career out of it for sure. Wow. 
That, I don't know if I could take a 99 rejections. One would be, it's like, well, I'm not meant to do this after <laughs> one. Like, no, that's not it. Yeah, but that makes also, two of us there. I don't think yeah, a, 99 right? rejections. Hard. I'd be like, well, oh, maybe this gosh. isn't for me. No, the hundredth yeah. time is not going to be the charm, but it was for you. And, yeah. you know, we also understand, okay, so you're, you're doing it full time now. Mm -hmm. And you've gotten another member of your family involved? Yeah, so my son, Lincoln, he, uh, when he was about four years old, started kind of copying me a little bit and wanting to watch me in the booth. And then um, one day, one of my agents was like, hey, we need kids. You have a kid, right? Can you have him read this uh, script and just send it to us? And so I sent it in. And he started booking jobs, like, right away. I was like, what in the world? I had You're 99 like, rejections. 99 rejections, <laughs> and he's, like, the first one. He Literally nails first it. first thing, yeah. And so uh, he started booking things. He um, there's this uh, educational app out there called Lingo Kids, and he voices Cowie, so he's a recurring character for them. And when he first started, he couldn't read yet, and so I would be in the booth, and I would have the script, and the director and producer they were on Zoom with us, and I would act out every scene really big, and he would mimic me. And now he can read, and so now he's like, "Mom, please, you're embarrassing me." And so he <laughs> reads the script once just to know the words, and then he reads it again in character. And I'm just like floored by the progress we've seen over the past couple of years. It's crazy. And what a great skill too for the rest wow. of his life to just be able to speak well and communicate. So many kids these days don't learn that; they're too busy hitting the sticks with the video games. So right. we want you to help us with our voices yes. today yes. all right guide us through do you have some voice exercises in which you can help mainly ginger with her inadequate voice oh boy here we go yeah right that sounds wonderful <laughs> I know, she's got a great voice um i say just kind of being loose in your body um being able to feel comfortable because you know there is there is a place for the okay. you know in a world being up close but that's not everything for character yeah. acting you want to feel comfortable you want movement and you want to just have warmed up your voice for us, just talking was plenty, but even mm -hmm. singing, humming, um, you know, doing any of the tongue twisters, all of that helps. Um, my favorite is the red leather, yellow leather tongue twister. Say that a few times. Ginger, that is hard. Do it. I can't red even do leather, that. Yellow, yellow leather. leather. <laughs> yeah. Red leather, yeah. yellow leather. Red the leather. The arsonist has leather. oddly shaped feet. <laughs> is that? <laughs> is that... <laughs> We're crushing this already. Red, red leather, yellow leather. That is, I have to think about every single time I say it. Yeah. Uh, on the news, red there are a few leather. that we joke about being difficult. Shoulder oh. surgery, right Ooh. whale. Anytime right whale is in a script, I always want to say like white whale or something I like that. I have never had to yeah. say right whale before. That's a Just fun well, combo. It's coming for you in one of these video games. <laughs> yeah, now, now you've done it. Now you've done it. I know, you know, you are known, you do Disney Junior, but you also do Nintendo stuff. And so mm -hmm. video games, right? So it's more than just voicing. You have to make these sounds. Like there are things like there's death. There's, uh, you know, like you get punched in the face. Do you have to do that Wha as well? <laughs> okay, so I did a video game, Jetpack Joyride 2. I played Betty and we did many hours recording, right? There is not a single spoken word in the game. We did hours of recording. So if I may give you guys a challenge here, uh, mm. one of the things in video games is called video game efforts. And so that is all of the noises that is not spoken word. Typically, it's the fighting scenes. That's what we're going to do right here, if yes. you're up for it. Oh, we're um, up for it. But it could be anything from lifting a rock to climbing something or even um, I've had to do stealth noises where you're being quiet. I was like, OK, um, I'll <laughs> wait, you had to do quiet. a noise where you're being quiet. <laughs> yeah. So it's like as though you're going through the woods. And so it was just like, hmm, hmm, you know, like little noises <laughs> to show that you exist, I guess. Um, <laughs> OK, do a noise where you're really quiet. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah exactly. would be a weird to one. Yeah. Show that you're being stealthy. Um, so I will show you one of the very basic things. Uh, in efforts and that is where you're getting lightly hit this isn't a major hit this is a light hit but what i do here's a trick is to get it started is to do the vowels so just go through like ah, eh, eh, ah, uh, you know like as though you're getting like light hits this isn't major okay. but i use the vowels to start not right. a punch in the throat all right right ah. yeah just in the gut ooh, e, ah, <laughs> ooh, you. sometimes so why <laughs> Coming up, it's my turn. Then, Matt goes from fight scenes to acting out a whole scene. What? There shouldn't be a trap here. I triple checked. <clears throat> Why does nothing ever go my way? 
<laughs> Does he have what it takes? Find out when Florida's Fourth Estate returns. Welcome back to Florida's Fourth Estate, where Matt and I are trying out our voice acting with a local voice actor. First, he went. But what I do, here's the trick, is to get it started is to do the vowels. So just go through like, ah, eh, eh, ah, uh, you know, like as though you're getting like light hits. This isn't major, okay. but I use the vowels to start. Not All a right. punch in the throat. All right. Right. Ah. Yeah. Just in the gut. Ooh, e, ah, <laughs> ooh, you. Sometimes so why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's my turn. Ginger, are you like in the newsroom where everybody else can hear you? Yeah, I, I am, but it's okay. She doesn't uh, care. Yeah. Is that is that why you're asking if I'd be embarrassed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. No, that's it's fine. It's All fine. Right, well, I'm gonna go do uh, a single on you. Let's let's see okay, this. It's like so lightly punched. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Sound like you're drinking a soda or something. <laughs> Drinks a soda like that. <laughs> okay. So I had a director recently give me another tip to add a little extra seasoning to that is to add Ooh. PL at the beginning. So you can be like, bleh, bleh, bleh. and honestly, Ooh. when you do that and you do it bigger and bigger, because they'll say like, uh, you know, small efforts, medium efforts, large efforts. So it's as though you're getting hit harder and harder. Um, but that's kind of the basic idea is to to add that in there. Yeah. So that was wonderful. Blue. Oh, I like. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I like yeah. that. That's good. <laughs> Little things you never would learn on your own. I'm sure you right. had to like really adjust. Oh my gosh. And it, it gets uh, weirder and weirder because I think I've uh, just chatted with you guys about this before. For that particular game, I had uh, a spaceship laser me down and then I hit the alien world and was dragged on my face. So it was like, <clears throat> you know, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> they're like great work <laughs> uh, so are you like doing the i'm glad this you're in the little booth by yourself where no one can hear you because you're like ah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> whatever works <laughs> all right got to get the job done wow okay dragged right. on your face i i don't even know what kind of situation you would practice in to do that but what does getting dragged on your face sound like again okay, oh, we'll put so her on the spot yeah so if you're you're shot down and you hit the ground and then drag so it was a it was a <laughs> and you let it trail out because they don't trail it out for you. Yeah. Wait, they won't just do that in a post production? No. So you literally just lower your volume. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. All the work. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So, so uh, you were kind enough to have one of your friends who's a writer put a script together for us. All right. I've got it up on my screen right now. Ginger, mm -hmm. you can kind of judge how, how I do on this. And we're we're gonna do. You, do you, does this need like some sort of setup? Do you want to explain what this what in the world we're talking about here? So it's all open to interpretation, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But um, from what I quickly gathered is uh, my character, who's like a princess, is trying to sneak out of her tower or whatever, um, okay. and one of her best friends is is out there, or something else is out there, yet to be oh. seen. And the the best friend is kind of pretending to be something else. Right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. I think you start. All right. Let's let's try this. I'm gonna right. do terrible. Take one. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right. Here we go. In character. <clears throat> what? There shouldn't be a trap here. I triple checked. <clears throat> Why does nothing ever go my way? Ma ha 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 ha! Foolish princess. You've left the safety of the palace. Beyond those walls lies my out realm of darkness. A dark mist fills the area. I am the dark demon Umbrella. Look upon me in despair. If you wish to continue living, surrender your mind to my dark will. Become my dark minion and bathe the night in the darkness. No evil being is that garish. Knock it off, Deanie. I know it's you. Hey, how did you know it was me? My stealth is perfect. My spells are perfect. I am perfect. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was the glitter bombs that went off every time you said darkness. Or maybe because only you would generate a stealth area just for said glitter bombs. Or perhaps it was... That can't be it. Every good villain has a stage presence. That's... Evil 101. Wait, did your magic awaken? Is that how you caught me? Eee! Dibs on your first Magibond. End scene. Wow. Yes! I think I slipped back into my normal voice for the last one. <laughs> that 
Okay, that was enjoyable. Matt, you did okay, except you said one of the quiet parts out loud. Did you read a direction? <laughs> well, yeah, I did that on purpose. I, I felt like I needed to give a little. No, no, no that yeah. is. <laughs> All right, um, I probably screwed Sandra, that up. Sandra, great job. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, that was wonderful. I loved it. No, I thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah, that I did too. That was fun to listen to. That was, you, you both did a, a really good job. That was awesome. It's just so difficult because, and you know, you're switching, Matt had to switch up his voice a couple of times and it was, it was believable. I was quite impressed. And you know, the fact that you're doing all the vocal work, you do the, the ups, the downs, the, you know, you're doing everything in that moment. So you're thinking about what you're saying and you also have to actually do it in the way you're thinking. I, it, it, there's a lot going on there. With character work, though, you want to try to not just give people what they what you assume they want out of it. You want to try and have pull some of that acting out. And um, sometimes it'll be what you if you overthink it, it doesn't come out right. So if you want to stay in character, you can actually bring something else out and it comes out a, a little more magical. So I try not to think about what about other people listening. I try to just be in character and in the moment. And I feel like that really helps. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It does. Yeah. I, I am a voice aficionado. Like I'm all about it. And you do have a fantastic voice the way it's uh, put like naturally you have a really good voice. Some people they have to work at. I'm sure you've worked mm -hmm. at it uh, over many years. I know Ginger and I, we have our entire careers tried to make these voices better, but yeah, but you definitely have a, a really nice one. So uh, it's cool. No, there's no wonder you're doing what you're doing. Well, thank you. I have a lot of fun. I definitely feel very fortunate all the time and I'm always taking new classes with new coaches to learn new techniques on things or different ways to use my voice different ways to use the microphone can change things too because mm -hmm. um there's a there was a commercial for Walgreens for a while that was really soft and she would start out a commercial going like at Walgreens and it was just so happy and pleasant but it was close to the mic and so I've started adopting that a little bit and um you know it's just you try out different things and and can make it sound different and better and keep on learning and growing yeah, and that's totally different from how, you know, when you imagine what a voice actor is, because they used to be mainly, you know, a lot of men just doing all the voiceover work oh, yeah. and just mm -hmm. using a, a very heavy, deep voice. And now that has changed so much because people want someone, they sound like they can have a conversation with. You want to sound like, oh, I can have coffee with her. And you totally sound like that person. Yes, they want more conversational and they're also including more and more diversity in a lot of casting calls that I've seen. They want more inclusive options out there to really represent more people. And so I feel like you're seeing a difference now in advertising in that respect as well. So the industry is changing and I definitely think for the better on that part. Well, if you want to find Sandra, a good luck. She's everywhere. She's in all sorts of video games, uh, specifically mobile gaming. You'll find her voice a lot. Like what's the biggest thing somebody would be able to maybe recognize your voice in? So the thing I get the most messages about is Brawl Stars. I voice Max and a lot of people love that character. It's a very fast superhero type character. Um, and then there's also Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Those are probably my top two um, that I get most recognized for. Very That's, cool. I, I love that. That is so cool. And it just gives, you know, as someone who does TV right now and you have to put on makeup and you, you look beautiful, by the way, because you oh, I put on makeup on for today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it nice as a mom? You don't have to worry about, you know, it's like I don't have to get all dolled up to do this job. It's just my your instrument is your voice. Right. Yeah, I'm in my dark booth, my padded cell by myself. And so I come out looking like a gremlin into the sunlight yeah, after work. <laughs> like, ah, you just played yeah. a gremlin for like an hour and now you yeah. feel like one. Sandra oh, Osborne, thank you so oh much for God. letting us in uh, to your dark little cave there right, with yeah. your incredibly bright and amazing voice. We appreciate you. Thanks for being on Florida's Fourth Estate. Thank you so much. That was fun. Thank you. And thank you for watching Florida's Fourth Estate. You can download it from wherever you listen to podcasts or watch anytime on New 6 Plus. And while you're there, make sure to check out some of our other episodes, like this one with Monsters in the Morning host Carlos Navarro about how he finally landed a spot on The Walking Dead. <laughs> Carlos, thank you so much for you giving me a hug. You know, we were waiting forever to find the perfect role for you. And man, we're so glad. I said, wow. I said, wait a second, you knew the whole time? You knew the whole time. That's why we named him Alvaro after Navarro. <laughs> it would be nice if they had shot him. Could you not have sent an email? Here. Or this one with an award-winning inventor who has made something that can help more than two billion people 
all while still in high school. It's all free on the new 6 Plus app. Just download it to your smart TV and start watching.